Welcome to Going to IEU podcast. My name is Veronica Ramos, and I am a fourth-year BBA student, and I will be your host for today, where I'm joined by Bachelor in Business and Business and Data Analytics student, Angela Brito. Hi, Angela. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, would you like to introduce yourself to our listeners and give a bit of background into who you are and how you ended up joining the Women in Business Club? Yes, so my name is Angela, and I'm a third-year BDBA student at IE. Um, I'm from Madrid, Spain, but I've lived in Canada and in Australia, so I've grown up abroad. Um, how I joined Women in Business? So that was, it was kind of my first year and I wanted to meet a lot of people and I was super excited, but I was doing the first year online because of COVID. So it was really hard to meet people. So um, I joined a bunch of clubs. I joined 180 Degrees Consulting. I joined Women in Business. And at first I was just a member, so I would attend the events. Um, and then I got to meet a lot of the, I guess, board members. And that's where, you know, I, I asked them about what they were doing and uh, when they opened the applications for coordinator I applied and yeah so I've been there I've been with women in business since my first year. So that's very interesting that you actually joined the club in COVID how would you say your experience was attending events you know online versus like the experiences that you have now being actually face to face? Oh I personally prefer face to face way better um, but online gives you a lot of advantages because you get to bring speakers from abroad um, you get to interact with people who maybe you wouldn't in face to face a lot of the times when you go face to face you go with friends or you go with people you already know so you're kind of limited to interacting with them but when you're online um, you're usually there alone right so I think that was a really good way to meet people. And uh, as I said, like you get to do things that you wouldn't do normally. I had this thing actually for 180 Degrees Consulting, so um, where it was an international thing where all of the branches had an event online. So I got to meet a lot of people from different universities and I still talk to them today. So that was like one of my highlights of my first year also. Yeah, so that's pretty cool that all your clubs eventually, like, do you have that connection with the international aspect? And can you talk a little bit more in that regard and the opportunities that the Women in Business Club has given you in terms of, like, their initiatives, but also some networking aspects? Yeah, so Women in Business has been kind of uh, one of the most important things I've done at IE, in my opinion. It's given me um, the chance to meet a lot of I guess, uh, motivated girls like me who want to enter the business area. Um, and the club in itself, I mean, both as a member and as a as a member of the board, um, I've got to attend a lot of events. I've got to interact with the speakers. So I've had this opportunity of meeting people who are already... So meeting women who are already in the business area, who are successful, who were once like in our situation... Um, and talking to them, you know, not only just listening to them in a professional way, but also speaking to them, having a casual conversation and hearing, you know, um, their advice and their their own experience. So I think um, that's one of the most, I guess, advantages, advantageous things from women in business, but also just interacting with the members of the club, students like myself, and hearing what, what their goals are and how I can... Um, how I can help kind of guide them in that sense through the club. So, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool that not only, like, are you able to network within the club and, like, talk to, like, like-minded girls who are interested, how you mentioned, in the business world and all. I'm also a BBA student, so it's very interesting, you know, to share that experiences, but also that you're able to relate to other women in particular industries that you want to pursue and not only get their experience, but also kind of, relate to them in their similar journeys and how you can adopt that into your own. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's really interesting to see how so many members of the Women in Business Clubs come from different backgrounds. Like myself, I come from a STEM background. I studied data, as I mentioned. But there's, um, you know, my vice president, Irene Perez, she comes from a BIR. So, so she comes from an international relations background. And then there's a lot of uh, members on my team who just come from you know, communications or, and all of them want to enter this business world. So, um, you know, you definitely get like a, a different sense of, of their journey and 
but at the end of the day, you know, we're all women who want to succeed in in the business world. So for sure, and it's always nice to have a little girl power and support. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned that like you're very interested in the business world, but you're studying STEM. What aspects of the business world would you say you're more particularly interested in pursuing? So um, I've always been kind of a STEM student. Math was always my favorite subject, and I always wanted to pursue a STEM degree. Um, but now that I'm kind of studying it in university, I've realized that I also I'm a people's person. So I do want to have that social aspect in my work environment where in tech, um, so I feel like I might be limited to, uh, you know, more behind the scenes or technical role. So I started to look into other areas. So for, as I mentioned, I looked into consulting and I looked into finance and I'm still exploring. I don't really know the path I want to take yet, but I do know that um, I want to apply my technical skills in a kind of business setting because of, yeah, because of the, because of who I am, I guess. Yeah, and how would you say that being a part of the Women in Business Club has allowed you to explore those avenues that you're interested in? Maybe some events that you guys have currently um, attended or have pursued. Can you talk a bit more about that? Yeah, so we had a series last year, which was called kind of Women in Tech or Women in Consulting. So we we switched it up um, kind of every month we would have a different event and we would collaborate sometimes with different clubs at IE and we brought speakers from those domains. So f so we brought speakers from consulting and that way you got to interact with them. I think there I also, um, I realized that, for example, um, consulting was an area that I could be interested in or so hearing what they did day to day, that was a huge uh, advantage. Hearing what they were working on, the projects that they were doing. Um, so I think sometimes when you're researching what you want to go into, you don't really get to hear the like the personal experience of people in the industry. So it's great to hear from them, um, like one to one and tell them, you know, they tell you not only the good things, they also tell you the bad things of because course. everything has, you know, so um, that's kind of when I really learned um, that I wanted to be a woman in business. That's really cool. And also like how you mentioned, it's very important to like see the good and the bad of everything yeah. <laughs> and understand that, you know, there's different aspects. How you mentioned the consulting, but also applying financial and like the, now more than ever, we live in a more tech based world and yeah. how that's constantly increasing. It's really interesting to see kind of like the initiatives that the Women Business Club is doing to not only help their um, club members to be able to network, but also kind of gain insights and as well like some practical skills to apply into their future careers. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think one of the main objectives of the Women in Business Club is to show all the girls that they all have a place in the business world, that it's not just finance or consulting, that you can go into anything. And, um, you know, that's why it's great to attend these events and to talk to the girls and to hear about their own personal experience because everyone has their own story. Um and it's also as a form of guidance because when you're in university, you might be studying something and you might feel limited to that degree, but it doesn't have to be this way. You can go into anything that you put your head into. So that's kind of um, one of the most motivating aspects for me. For sure, for sure. And it's very important to kind of keep yourself a little bit more open as opposed to like yeah. decentralize how you said. Yeah. And um, we touched a little bit about the networking aspects and the different events, but I know that you recently participated in the Women in Alliance conference in Oxford. So I was wondering if you could talk a bit about your experience there, you know, representing also the Women in Business Club and that aspect, how, you know, you felt about the overall yeah. experience there. Yeah, definitely. I think that was one of the highlights of my time in Women in Business because um, one of our main goals when we started was to reach out to other clubs in, across Europe. We wanted to uh, broaden our network and to meet women sort of in the same situation as us, but in other countries. Um, and so when Women's Society's Alliance reached out to us back in September or so, we were really excited. And, you know, they had all these initiatives um, that they were offering us and, when they invited us to Oxford, we were like, oh, wow, like that's so far away. I don't know if we're going to be able to go. So going there was just kind of a way for IE as as an institution to show like we're very committed to this club. We're very um, committed to women 
you know, succeeding in the business world. So that was also very empowering for us. And then when we were there, we got to meet all of these amazing girls um, across different universities. And so it was a roundtable discussion where they brought on topics that were maybe controversial or so maybe just to spice up the conversation. One of them was... um, what are the three main barriers for women entering the corporate world? So that was just something we all talked about. Oh, I think this is like the main issue or this might be it. So it was really interesting. Um, Yeah. And then, and then they talked about the initiatives they had, which, um, you know, you can always, if you research them, you can see, but they have very important um, initiatives. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very inspiring atmosphere to be in, be yeah. in for sure. As, as you mentioned, um, very important for a university, but not only the university, but for you guys to kind of have that opportunity and exposure to, how you mentioned, connect with other girls, but also talk about like those very important topics that are still affecting like the workforce for women today. Yeah, no, definitely. I think um, all women are connected in that way because even though there's a lot of advancements right now with um, women entering the workforce and there's a lot of push but there's still obviously a lot behind that. There's, um, you know, issues in regards to um, the career projection of a woman because in, C- in leadership positions, you don't really see that many women. So I think having sort of some role models to follow or, you know, women who are in those positions to come to speak to you and to tell you, you know, there are some of us here and, um, you know, there's a lot a lot of potential for you to get here. So I think, um, yeah, that's one of the main points of the Women's Society's Alliance also. Yeah, and I can imagine from your perspective, you know, being a STEM student, it really is insightful for you to kind of like see other women do similar roles that you're interested in and kind of like seeing like it is possible. Like it's not only a predominant male industry, but Mm -hmm. you have your place within that table. Yeah. And we have a lot of space for us to grow there, you know, and I think we have a lot to show. Um, And it's a great moment to be a woman in STEM and a woman in business. (laughs) So, yeah, I think that's that's kind of the main point for for the club to show to the girls, you know, that um, to motivate them and to empower them yeah yeah for sure and um you touched a bit about the initiatives of the women alliance and i was wondering um for the women in business club what are their initiatives and how that connects a bit to the women in alliance initiatives that they are offering or they're willing to achieve yeah so in women in business we have a couple of initiatives we have an ambassadors program where we train sort of young women to join the board and um, to also help with our networking and our branching out. And um, we have events throughout the year. So this includes bringing in speakers on different topics. Whenever there's also a conflict or, uh, for example, the protests in Iran, we try to broadcast that through our club. So we have um, events for that. We also just have networking events in general for each other to meet. And then we have a big event coming up for Women's Day on the 8th of March. So that's kind of our biggest event every year. Um, And that's like a long day event where we bring in speakers um, and we have networking sessions. We have a lunch break. We have a music club. So it's like it's very big. So, yeah, I think those are our main events. We're always working on more initiatives. So uh, we were looking into doing kind of a women in business dining session where we would bring in um, professionals from various industries and we would just have like a dining session. This was something that I actually found out about that women in business was doing years ago when we started. So I want to bring that back. (laughs) Um, what else? We also, now that we're part of the Women's Society's Alliance, we can make use of their initiatives and some of their initiatives are much bigger because they have sponsors, whereas we don't have sponsors. Um, so for example, they have a WSA Bounce initiative, which is where you, uh, women business members can apply and uh, I think 20 girls are selected to attend Um, to shadow firms for three days in London. And the entire trip is funded by the WSA Bounce. Uh, Wow, that's very cool. Yeah. It's super interesting. No, that's amazing. And um, you mentioned that you don't have any sponsors, but obviously you also have the support of Campus Life and that I community. So I was just wondering, you know, as your experience as a coordinator and being like kind of like the behind the scenes operation of this um, very much student-led club, 
How has your experience been with, you know, the campus life and their support in helping promote this club, but also helping you reach those voices that you want to reach? Yeah. So campus life is always uh, a great support because they have kind of the connections to advertise with an IE that we could never hope <laughs> and could never dream of. Um, but also campus life assigns you sort of a tutor or someone who looks over you specifically and that gives you um it, it helps you because you feel like you're not alone in the whole process <laughs> um they also if you ever need anything with regards to logistics or any questions with regards to you know how to organize an event or i feel like they have more experience you know and they can always provide you with that support so it's not only the advertising and the network support that they give you, but it's also kind of that tutoring and, um, yeah, like support for the for the clubs to to grow and to do better. So obviously, um, we had talked already about how Campus Life has given you support in all aspects, but as a whole, they allow you guys to kind of gain that independence and dictate the message that you want the club to reach across, while also providing you know technical guidance and helping you scale up as a as a business, because at the end of the day, you're you're a club, but you also have your own initiatives and wishes. So it's kind of like talking a bit more about that experience, perhaps. Yeah, definitely. So Campus Life gives you that support, um, both in the network sense and also in uh, the technical sense that you were mentioning. There's also kind of this... Um, this alliance between Campus Life and Women in Business where if they have any good ideas for the club, they always bring it up to us. So, for example, the Mentorship Society, that was kind of hand-in-hand um, hand with Campus Life or the leader, the Leadership Conference on the 8th of March, we're doing that, you know, hand-in-hand, hand, Bettina and I and the, and the Masters. Uh, so it's just kind of that um, collaboration always with Campus Life. For sure. And you mentioned like masters. So like not only do you have like the undergrad version of the yeah. Women's in Alliance, but you're also like a big um, club as a whole. And you're yeah. able to interact with different clubs um, of the IE community and kind of like, you know, collaborate. You mentioned the music club earlier mm -hmm. for these events to like at the end of the day, like broadcast like your goals and initiatives. Yeah. Yeah, we love collaborating with other clubs. I mean, it's a great opportunity because there's a lot of clubs at IE and they all have their own ideas. They all have their own speakers and their own members who are very passionate about what they're doing. So it's a way to bring everyone together and to have great music and uh, <laughs> great finance speakers or great consulting speakers. So whatever club you go to, you have, you know... Um, a lot of potential there for a good event. <laughs> for sure. And everyone looks good music and they yeah. love, you know, when the music club is just like playing it up and it's amazing. Yeah, definitely. Um, I wanted to also like perhaps talk about obviously like the importance of the Women in Club and how I University has helped you guys kind of cultivate this empowering community and, you know, just the whole vibe of, you know, we're empowering women and we're going to support each other. Mm -hmm. And maybe you could talk a bit more about that. Yeah, so um, as how IE has helped us. Mm -hmm. So I think IE in itself is already a very empowering environment. I think that the way that the university is structured, since it's such an international environment, they're always promoting uh, initiatives to foster diversity. And, you know, I think uh, since it's already an international and a uh, um, an empowering community, it's not really hard for us to already feel empowered here, um, which is great. So I supports us in all of our initiatives, basically. It's great that we have a university that listens to us. Like, for example, with a trip to Oxford, we really didn't expect that to happen, but I was super tentative. They were like, they were very ready for us to, you know, take on the lead. And it really does feel kind of proud to be to be a member of the sure. community. Yeah. No, it's great that I university really like helps you support and like all their clubs are like yeah. if you have like a good plan and you know you know what you're doing yeah. they're willing to support you and you know reach levels that perhaps you didn't think it was possible definitely yeah you feel like your club's important which mm -hmm. is maybe i don't know i don't haven't been at other universities but i feel like that's very unique to ie um to feel like you have a say within the community that your voice is being heard so um i definitely i think but IE listens to its students across every domain, you know, even in class, they're always um, wanting to hear about your experience. You have surveys, you have a class representative who talks to the teachers. So IE is always very um, 
close to its students and its student body in that sense. Yeah, for sure. And to kind of go more into the personal aspect, we talked about how you gained um, knowledge and like, you know, like came across this club as a whole. So I was just wondering, what are some of your personal goals with reaching the Women's Club? What do you hope to achieve or gain from this experience? So when I joined Women in Business, I was kind of looking for some guidance myself because I was studying a degree where I felt like um, I didn't know where to go from there, sort of. So I think joining the club was kind of a way to meet other women who might be in the same situation or who might be in the complete opposite situation where they have everything figured out, which was also, you know, amazing to learn from. So um, on a personal side, it, it gave me that opportunity as I mentioned, to talk to women who were already in various industries, to hear about their experiences. And now my goal is just to, you know, enter the business world, hopefully, and um, make it there <laughs> and make my own path. I don't really know where I'm going right now, but I do know that, you know, I, I have to kind of hopefully. So my goal is to be a role model in the future for the Women in Business Club members and for other women who, uh, like myself, want to find a voice in this industry. For sure, for sure. And it's always nice to have kind of like that big sister mentality, yeah, you know, definitely. that like helps you kind of, you know, figure things out. It's yeah. so nice. Yeah, 100%. I joined the Women in Business Mentorship Society when I was also in my first year. And I had a mentor who was, you know, uh, she was supporting me through the whole entire process. I've also reached out to so many women and we've women who are professionals and who've helped me and sort of guided me along the way. So I think having that, as you mentioned, big sister um, type of relationship, just someone who's there to support you. And you might not even know them at first, but they're always so open to helping. So it's such a nice dynamic, I think. No, oh, yeah, it's amazing. And um, there's also other um, women-led um, club initiatives in, you know, in the university. And I was wondering if you guys have ever collaborated with um, the IE Girl Up Club and, you know, what are some similar goals that you guys share with each other? So the IE Girl Up Club, I know, is very successful also within IE. Um, I think we ha we've had similar initiatives, but I don't think we've ever collaborated. But that's something definitely to look into because, you know, it would make sense. So, <laughs> I mean, why not? You know, yeah. like women empowerment. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. So um, thank you so much, Angela. Is there anything else that you would love to kind of like touch upon the club that you would love for our listeners to like know or perhaps how they can apply or become part of the club? Yeah, definitely. So um, I think something that we want to get across this year, especially in women in business, is that it's not just for girls, you know, men are also able to join. Uh, it's an important discussion for everyone. It's not just for women. And I think um, it's, it's just, it's a nice environment. At the last event, we had actually a very mixed group, which was great because it's amazing. Yeah, it's great to have that male support for women in business. Um, but yeah, in general, we're just open to anyone who wants to join um, and just to explore, you know, business initiatives and other things that we can offer you. We're also open to any advice or any ideas that you might have as a member. You don't have to be part of the board. So if you ever want to reach out to us and say, look, I thought about this amazing idea, um, you know, we really wanted to do Women Who Wine at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that that should happen. I mean, so, why not? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think that's kind of my main message is that your voice is always heard in the club and at IE and yeah, so. That's thank wonderful, you. yeah. <laughs> and thank you again. And just to kind of touch a bit on that, I think it's so important also like fighting for equality in the workforce. Yeah. It's not only a woman driven um, push for yeah. sure. You also need support like from your male peers and, and from anyone else of the community. So it's wonderful that you guys are also trying to like, yeah. you know, reach out to them and say, hey, I know the name is woman in business, yeah. but, you know, it's business and we can all attribute to kind of yeah. helping push this forward. And we can all benefit from it. At the end of the day, they as a male in the business industry, you will also benefit from women being there and having their own perspective on the same topics. And um, I think it's something that we can all, you know, push for. And we won't make it there unless there's that other side pushing with us, you know. So for sure. I think it's the time to integrate everyone into this topic. And yeah. No, it's wonderful. Um, thank you so much for having us on 
in the podcast and um, for our listeners if there's anything else that you would love to learn about the Women in Business Club you can check out the website on IE Connects yeah. or do you guys also have an Instagram perhaps? Yeah we have an Instagram and you can feel free to message me as well so <laughs> yeah but we're we're very excited for you know for the new generation to join <laughs> us and yeah thank you so much for having me no, thank you so much for having us and um, thank you so much for listening to Going to IEU and we'll see you on the next episode <laughs>